Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Slavin, nutritionist, registered dietitian, and Masters of Public Health. Welcome to my nutrition video series on optimal nutrition. In these 10 videos, you'll learn everything from optimal fats and carbs to sweets and treats that are still good for your health. Be sure to click on the links below. They'll provide you with summaries from each episode with all the nutrition advice that you can use for your healthy lifestyle. So let's get started. Today's episode is about optimal digestion and mindful eating. Two very important topics that are intertwined. However, I'm gonna tackle them both separately. Uh, before we get to some optimal digestion tips, I actually want to talk to you about mindful eating because really the practice of mindful eating will get your digestive system on a good flow and feeling great. So what does it mean to eat mindfully? It's really just when you prepare your food or sit down to eat it, just being present, being in the moment as you cook, as you sit down, as you eat, and as you enjoy what you're eating. Because so often we find ourselves rushed when we're eating or in the kitchen cooking, but not really paying attention to what we're doing or sitting down in front of the television or talking on the phone that, you know, the examples are endless where we eat while we're doing something else. And more often than not, that's actually gonna cause you some digestive disturbances because you're not being present. You're not in the moment as you're eating and in turn, your body is not fully uh, digesting what it's eating. And not only that, when you're rushed or not sitting properly, you're actually not going to assimilate the nutrients in the same way because you are not properly chewing your food or you're not uh, taking the time to feel, are you hungry or are you full? So paying attention to those cues will actually make you healthier nutrition wise as well. So when it comes to the actual tips or ideas that I have for you when it comes to optimal digestion, my first place that I will tell you to start is to chew. Chew your food. Now, I know that sounds like a scolding almost, but it's, it's a reminder actually just to pay attention to your digestive system actually starts in your mouth. Your saliva is there for a reason. It's there to break down the food that you're eating. Now. Chewing your food with one or two chews and then swallowing it is not considered chewing. You want to chew your food so it almost feels a little mushy. I know that doesn't sound appealing. Over time, you'll get used to it, but you want to give it a few chews, kind of break it down so that when you swallow it, your body can properly digest it and you won't feel discomfort. On that note, when you eat your meal, you want to drink something that's room temperature. More often than not, whether you're at a uh, restaurant or you're grabbing water from your fridge or whatever drink you're having, it's too cold. And drinking something too cold while you eat actually doesn't stop, but it will hinder, uh, slow down your digestive system. So keep in mind when you're offered a glass of water with ice, ask for no, no ice, or keep a jug out in the counter at your home that is room temperature, drink your water at room temperature. If you want to take it one step above, actually drink your liquids before your meal. This is good for two reasons. One, it fills you up. So you'll eat less, and I'm not encouraging you to eat less just because. I'm encouraging you to uh, watch your hunger cues because more often than not, it's actually a thirst cue. Now, I've talked about that. If you've seen my optimal hydration video talking about hydrating and paying attention to those cues because more often you're actually thirsty than hungry. But if you drink your water first before your meal, not only are you filling yourself up, you're also avoiding that uh, water drinking with your meal that kind of just swooshes all that food down and doesn't allow for a proper digestion. So those are some tips for when you're sitting down and eating. Now, if you still feel a little bit of discomfort or if you're prone to having a little bit of uh, bloatedness, gas, or even uh, nausea after you eat, well, firstly, if you find yourself having this all the time or if you're in constant discomfort, please talk to a healthcare advisor about that because this, this episode is not about major digestive issues. It's just about increasing your digestive uh, capabilities and minimizing some of those annoying issues with digestion like constipation or uh, nausea or bloating. So if you found you're doing all these tips that I suggested, but you're still feeling a little bit of discomfort, try something like a herbal tea. There's so many herbal tea options out there that have so many good quality health benefits for your digestive system. 
I went to my cupboard actually just to take out some of the ones that I have because I love having them around. They're not only calming and soothing for the stomach, they're just good to have to prevent having dietary, uh, digestive issues. Some of my favorites uh, are chamomile. As you can see, I actually buy it in bulk because that's how much I love it. Buy it in bulk, uh, not only is it more affordable in bulk, but it's also nice to have and choose how much you want in your tea. I usually take about a tablespoon. Um, so keep that in mind when you're buying your teas. Also things like nettle or lemon balm or fennel, they're all amazing herbs that have amazing properties to them for your digestive system. So keep this in mind, you wanna have this stocked up in your cupboard for those times where you need help with your digestive system or you just wanna have them as health promoting teas and herbs to have around. And on that note, ginger is also an excellent thing to have in your kitchen. So let's say you've tried these herbal teas or you need something really strong and powerful. Ginger is one of those super roots and super food that will aid in digestive health. Not only is it incredible for nausea and bloating, it's also health promoting from an anti-inflammatory standpoint. And if your gut is inflamed, you'll feel that inflammation. So having ginger in some hot water is exceptionally soothing and exceptionally health promoting for your di digestive system. And on, on that note of digestion, if you've tried all these things or you want something that even just takes it up a notch, something like probiotics is excellent for your gut health. Now again, please talk to a healthcare provider, uh, whether it's uh, a Western doctor you're seeing, a naturopathic doctor, or your dietitian. Talk to them about probiotics and find out if it's right for you because probiotics are really one of those new, well, I shouldn't say new, it's been around for a long time, but newly researched kind of exploding area to show that not only is it health promoting all around, but the, our gut health is kind of the stem for where all of our health resides. So having something like probiotics is an excellent choice. So those are my tips for optimal digestion and mindful eating. And please just be present and enjoy your food and in turn your digestive system in your body will thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my optimal nutrition video series. Don't forget to click on the links below. I'm Jamie Slavin. Thanks so much for watching.